Stable Diffusion has taken the world by storm. People are using it to create images of everything, even to make digital versions of themselves. In October of 2022, 170 million images were created in just that month, and more people are getting onboarded every day. So if you've wanted to be a part of it but didn't know where to begin, I'm going to show you how. And understand that Stable Diffusion is a text-to-image generator, which is free and open source so anyone can build on it. And that's what these three sites I'm going to show you have done. All the links will be in the description, and if you want a more in-depth understanding of how Stable Diffusion was created, click the link at the top. Let's get into what I think are the best three sites for Stable Diffusion. First up is Dream Studio. Dream Studio is brought to you by Stability AI, which is the company that actually developed Stable Diffusion. To get started with Dream Studio, create an account and you will get 100 credits for free. You go to the Dream page, and at the bottom is a text bar where you can enter a prompt. You can see an example prompt already filled in. Now for this video, I'm going to use the same prompt in each of the different sites so we can see the difference in results. And the prompt we're going to use is Al Pacino as a Smurf photorealistic 4K. This is a simple prompt and later I'll show you examples of how complicated prompts can be. Now at the top, you can see how many credits this will cost you. And then you see a few sliders where you can change things like aspect ratio, the number of steps involved in generating your image, and the number of images to display. Increasing the sliders will increase the amounts of credits it will cost. We're going to leave it as is, and then under model, version 2.1 is the latest as of this video. However, I'm going to leave it on 1.5 because a lot of people like those results the best. Now, just click dream. Now it's important to note that these images are being generated in the cloud and not on your computer. There are programs you can download locally, but a pretty heavy duty GPU is required. So the websites I'm covering today are all cloud-based. And there we go, Al Pacino as a Smurf. Not bad for giving zero guidance to the algorithm. Four different looks, each one unique, pretty interesting stuff. Let's compare these to what we get from the next site. Up next is Night Cafe. Once you're on the website, create a free account, and every day you get five free credits. Click create, and then choose a creation model. You can see that there are other text image generators here, but since this is a stable diffusion video, we're going to click stable. We're going to enter our prompt again, and the nice thing about Night Cafe is that we can add keyword modifiers that they've summarized for you. So for example, if we click on color portrait, we will now see that new information has been added to our text prompt. We can also choose a starting image if we want it. You know, we could take an actual image of Al Pacino and start with that. But since we're comparing different websites, I'm going to leave the prompt exactly as before without any modifiers. We're going to keep it on Stable Diffusion 1.5 and click Create. And wow, there we go. A lot of times their eyes get messed up. I don't know why, but as you can see, the same exact prompt and four completely different images. Yeah, some weird eyes there. I love that the computer decided to give him a blue five o'clock shadow. Super weird, but four different looks. And just to remind you, this is a completely simple prompt. The prompt is the key. We're keeping it simple for this video, but you can really take one of these images and create some cool variations off of it. But let's go to the last one and my personal favorite, Mid Journey. Mid Journey is known for having some of the most beautiful results out of all the models. The cool thing about Mid Journey is that creating the art is done through Discord. If you don't have a Discord account, create one for free. I know this is an extra step, but it's really worth it and I'll show you why. Once you have your Discord account ready, go to the Mid Journey website, create a free account, and then link it to your Discord account. Now, inside the Mid Journey Discord, you will find different channels that can help you get started and teach you about text prompts. But the cool thing is, you can also just visit the newbie channels and you can see each prompt and its resulting image in real time. So you can see all these people that are just getting started with Mid Journey and you can learn what you like and don't like and you can borrow from their prompts and use it in your own prompt. Now, the way you enter a prompt is by typing backslash imagine then hit return. Now let's enter our prompt. So our prompt is in the queue and while we wait, we can look at other people's creations. Every single image that's being created is completely unique. Stable Diffusion is not allowed to plagiarize any image that it's been trained on. 
It's unbelievable to me that every second of every minute of every hour of every day, this channel is bringing new images into the world at a pace that has never before been seen. And this is just one channel. This is a technological revolution that I think will be referenced in history books, not unlike the creation of the printing press. And you're here for the beginning of it, so congratulations. And there are our images. Wow, you see what I mean. Photorealistic, no messed up eyes. Look at the emotion in these different faces. This is crazy off of a simple prompt like that. Mid Journey definitely takes first place. Now, if you like one of these images, you can upscale it or create further variations on it by using these buttons here. So let's create a variation of this one. And let's get out of the newbie channel for a minute and take a look at a general channel. There are 20 of them, so let's just pick one. And look at the difference in prompts. Way more detail, way more specific. Some people say that this is going to take jobs away from digital artists, and it will for some, but I think this will also create jobs. I actually think that the prompt will be the new Photoshop. You know, you can become a master of prompts and people will hire you for that. I've spoken to a couple artists I know who are also amazed at the tech and excited to use it as a tool for getting inspiration, you know, getting new ideas that they never thought of before and then incorporating it into their own style. Wait a minute, what? Al Pacino as Beetlejuice? What are the odds of this? What are the odds? This guy is doing Al Pacino as Beetlejuice. Is Al Pacino a thing? I was being completely random. Who do you like better, Al Pacino as Beetlejuice or Al Pacino as a Smurf? Let me know. So now that we've created and upscaled an image, let's go back to the Mid Journey website and look at our account. The images we created in Discord have populated into our account on the website. And here we can do more things like download them, add them to a collection, share them. Pretty cool. It's also important to note that this tech is so new that the copyright laws haven't caught up yet. At the time of this video, any image you create on Dream Studio is considered public domain, meaning that anyone can use it for free. Whatever website or app you use, check the facts section for a clarification. So there it is guys, go sign up for free accounts and start creating some art. I've got more videos on this coming. Hit subscribe so you don't miss them. Go create some art and most importantly, have fun. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the future.